They impress, although the stock's down eight tenths of one percent. I'd say that in this post CPI market for technology stocks, that's relatively buoyant as things go. And it's worth noting the stock was higher in pre market by half percent. The sell side are really positive about what Google did. So much of the conversation we've had about AI or generative AI as a tool has been in the context of chatbots that are consumer facing. But the real battleground is the enterprise customer using generative AI through cloud platforms. A market in which Google Cloud Platform is a firm third place behind Amazon AWS um, and Microsoft's Azure. The real thing that the street is seizing on is their Google Cloud Platform's developer's application, which is called Vertex AI. And in a demo that Google gave Bloomberg, they basically demonstrated how if you're a marketing firm, you can upload images, marketing-related images, to Google Drive. The generative AI or Gemini 1.5 Pro model then takes those images and you can basically ask it to do whatever you want. Make me a slideshow or a presentation based on those images. They also showed off cybersecurity use cases and other app development. And, and it's the first tangible sign that Google feels that the uh, model that they, they have out in, in the marketplace, Gemini Pro 1.5, is ready for real time. It's ready to be used in the enterprise use case. And across all of the sell side notes, there are many. If there's one commonality, it's that this will see Google accelerate its cloud growth and potentially continue to, to chip away at market share at the number one and two placed AWS and Microsoft Azure. But yeah, the stock down half a percent, as I say, in this post CPI tech market, that's buoyant. I think I'm right in saying that there's just one single or a couple of stocks in the green on the NASDAQ 100 anyway.